Alright, this is a uh, basically a documentation of my attempt to fix my Nintendo Game Boy. Um, the headphone port, there's something wrong with it, the, uh, the, only the left channel works. And I looked up some things on the internet real quick, and uh, I found this uh, sort of how-to guide, and this is basically... Uh, email. Uh, it says... I'm not gonna try to... It says the volume isn't consistent, a left-right channel is missing, or no sound comes out at all. This guy says that this is po probably an, an issue with the volume potentiometer being dirty or damaged. You can get lucky by dabbing uh, some rubbing alcohol in the pot and rotating it to spread it around, and this often fixes it. If that doesn't fix it, you may need to replace the potentiometer underneath. It is a resistance value uh, you need. It should be easy to find a compatible one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attempt this, and if this works, then maybe you have the same problem. I will uh, go ahead and post the... The link to this web, this guy's website or this guy's blog, and um, I'll attach that on there. I'll probably ask him first, of course. But anyway, let's get on with this. So I have already taken off these screws that separate the back plate from the uh, from the everything, and uh, this type doesn't have the weird tri-wing screws. This normally has the uh, the normal Phillips head screws. Uh, you can't really see, but it has it has it fits with a normal Phillips, and uh, you can see Phillips. So what I've done is I've separated the sides here, and I've already removed the ribbon cable. And you should really be careful with these, because especially with the like, keyboards on computers, I've had this experience before. On a on an old laptop, I, I kept removing this because I kept getting inside the computer, and eventually the keyboard, some of the keys started dying. So um, you should be careful when removing these things. So I very easily, uh, uh, very carefully remove that. And uh, I'm going to set this aside because this is not the volume control. This is the contrast control. And I'll just go ahead and set this guy over here. And I've already started removing some of the circuit board. And this is attached to the battery connectors, or the um, battery terminals, and also this little extra part of the sound uh, chip. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these, and then I'll be back right back with you. Okay, I have um, removed that. And now this entire thing should just come right out. I'll go ahead and try that. I'm trying to coordinate both my camera movement and my movement. So, if I lift this up, everything should be lifted out. Right. Now I'm going to set this on here. Here. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Here we have the entire um, chip. There's the uh, inside, back. This is where the cartridge slot is, right there. Or where the cartridges plug in. Sorry if I'm doing a bad job filming this. I'm on my bed, which I really shouldn't be. But anyway, um, this is that that one on the far right that my mouse is running underneath. That is the part where the headphone jack is. And this part down here, I see a capacitor and some diodes. And I don't know what that little red thing is, but not, not quite sure what that is. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get at the potentiometer, which is right here. And I'm going to try to dab some rubbing alcohol in it. I guess you can see I got junk all over my bed. But I got some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. And I'm not going to do this on my bed, by the way, because that would just be a retarded mess. And I'm going to go ahead and get into that potentiometer, and I'll rub some alcohol in there and move that around and wait for it to evaporate and see what happens. So uh, let me move to my desk, and I'll be right back. All right, now I've moved everything to my desk. Um, everything is right there, including Smarties, which are very important. I thought that it would probably be better space for everything since my bed is uh, trashed as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, potentiometer now. It's this little guy here, the volume knob. And I'm also going to do the contrast one just for good measure. Oh, sorry. I'm also going to do the contrast one just for good measure. Um, just because if I'm going to do it at all, why not overdo it? But hopefully I won't overdo it to a bad extent. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll show you uh, once I've gotten that all out and then... Yeah. Alright, so now I went ahead and threw some uh, alcohol. Well, not threw, but added some alcohol. But just a tiny, tiny drop. Not even a drop, just wiped some in there. And now the con contrast potentiometer is also being desplugified. That, not a word, but whatever. And I decided, hell, if I'm going to be doing this, I may as well clean out the entire thing. So what I did is I go ahead, went ahead and took out the front panel. And I may as well just give you a little bit of tour of it while this stuff is drying. So. As you can see, this is the, um, as the front says, as the front panel of the Game Boy says, the dot matrix uh, 
LCD display, or not, I guess it's not LCD, but it's, it's basically the same type of screen that a graphing calculator has, except lower quality. And um, here's the little mono speaker. I think it, I believe it's only left channel, or it might, may even add them together, but it's, it's a single speaker. And it's only, um, theoretically, it's only uh, a stereo when you plug in your earphones. Let's flip this guy over here. Um, I'll just hold it in my hand so I don't get any schmutz on the screen. Um, here, there's very little on the back. We have the back the potentiometers, some few capacitors, etc., diodes. Um, here, these two. Sorry, I'm, I'm having a hard time doing this. Um, here, uh, it's kind of interesting. These are two contacts that are attached to that basically connect to the metal surfaces of this. And I probably shouldn't be touching that, but keep my greasy fingers off of it. But these two basically connect to that. And I'm assuming it gives power to the screen or something something of that nature. Um, and I'll go ahead and flip this over and hopefully I didn't get too much gunk on the screen. And uh, back there was a ribbon cable as well that you most likely saw. Here's the other side. Um, there's the cable connector to the ribbon cable. Um, here's this big large surface which I don't, I'm, I probably said it was as a ground and also is one of the contacts for those two little nubs that I showed you on the screen section of the Game Boy. Um, here are two parts of the batteries, uh, battery right there. I'm sorry. These two parts. These are two of the battery contacts. There's the volume potentiometer. There's the um, link cable that you can connect the two, uh, two or more Game Boys to, uh, together. Um, here we have the CPU. And this is basically, I, I believe it's a Nintendo clone of, I know it's a copy of the Zilog Z80 or Z80, depending on where you're from. And, um... This I know here is the uh, crystal that controls uh, the frequency, and this runs at about four four megahertz. So that 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 crystal there is determining uh, the uh, frequency. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Here, of course, is the cartridge slot, and I can show you by plugging in the cartridge here. And that's how the cartridge would go in. Of course, this normally sticks out of this back hole right here. See what else we got. Let me place this down here and move Pokemon. You know, I'll probably also dip some alcohol into that uh, into the con connectors underneath there for the cartridge slot, just for cleaning, etc. It's been sitting around for 20 years. May as well get a good clean. Uh, here's that one chip that I didn't know it, exactly what it did, and then here's the sound chip or the uh, sound output, I should say. Alright, so I think I've given the potentiometer enough time to dry off, um, but that statement was basically pointless because I'm still going to put some more alcohol in there. So uh, I will come back to you once this is all back together and we'll test it and see how it works. Alright, now I've reassembled the entire thing and I cleaned off the screen and I put some alcohol in the potentiometers and I just reinstalled as many batteries as I could find in there. Let's go ahead and put in blue and see if it works. At least if it turns on. Alright, so it. Nintendo, I heard the ding. So we haven't. It's a little bit of noise coming out of there. So there's the great Game Freak logo. Let me see. So far, it's doing what it should be doing. Which I guess is a good sign. Alright, now I'll go ahead and shut her off. And I'll go run and grab some headphones and be right back with you. Alright, just so I'm not fool anything by anything, I'll go ahead and switch on my iPod and make sure these headphones work, because which doesn't seem as stupid a thing, especially in this house. Let's go ahead and pick out a song. Actually it doesn't really matter, just press play. That one works. Alright, they were they both work. That's enough of that. And, uh, I need to go ahead and turn this guy off. Double lock that. Like so. Come on. I'll unplug the headphones. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see if this thing works. Plug that in. Hell, I'm just going to turn up the volume just about all the way. I'll put in these headphones and I'll make some noise if they work. So previously these were only working in the left channel and the right was dead. So
Alright. Oh, I've only got a pop in my left ear. Uh, I didn't fix it. Well, it was worth a try, I guess. Yeah, it's only working through my left ear. Um, well, I guess it was worth a try. It was uh, also a cool looking set of the Game Boy. Um, oh well. Shit happens. Um, anyway, the reason I was trying to fix that was because I was going to go on a uh, trip soon and I wanted to be able to use this thing on the plane and not be completely pissed off by the audio. But I don't think that's a big problem. I'll, I could probably just stick some foil around two of these contacts and get them to play mono in both ears because I don't know why, that just sort of bugs me when only one ear works. But anyway, uh, that was sort of inside look of the uh, Nintendo Game Boy and an unsuccessful attempt to fix the uh, left-only audio channel. Um, please subscribe, check out my channel, look at my other videos, all that good stuff. Um, hope you guys have a pleasant evening and, uh, or I guess tomorrow and every, whenever you watch this. And um, yeah, make it a great one.